Assalamu alaikum everybody. Uh, so I'm here in Egypt and in the next two hours I'm about to take my shahada. And I'm so nervous. Uh, like really so nervous. But inshallah everything will go smoothly. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry but I am so nervous and I cannot really even explain how happy but nervous I am. So keep in your duas and inshallah everything will go smoothly and uh, I will also make a video right afterwards, maybe not right after but like after and so you can share the feelings with me. Anyways, I wanted to show you the place I'm staying at because it's so beautiful. This is the pool. It's so nice, but the water is somehow cold. But I really like that. Because you can uh, pull the curtains and have your privacy, which is very nice. Here is the garden, which I love because I really like nature and I don't like artificial stuff. And this place, you can sit here and just chill and read book and it's so lovely. Assalamu alaikum everybody. Guess what? Oh, I'm so happy. I'm officially a Muslim. Alhamdulillah. Okay, okay. So I'll try to calm down even though I'm super duper happy. And also I'm super happy so because I can share it with you. Because it means a lot to me. Uh, so, uh, okay, what should I say? How I felt and... How I feel now and everything. Okay, so um, actually, before entering the mosque or the center where I accepted Islam, I felt super, super, super nervous. Like, I've never felt that nervous in my life. Like, at that time. But at the same time, I knew that Allah will make it easy for me and that I will actually enjoy the time. And uh, I also had that, uh, I had there my future family. Uh, and it was so nice to have them there. Because after I finished with uh, saying the Shahada, it was so nice to have somebody to hug with. And uh, yeah, it was just so amazing. Okay, so firstly, I felt uh, like I will not feel different that much, but uh, the true was actually the opposite. I really felt like a new person. Like after I finished uh, the Shahada, like old soul somehow got from my body and I really 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 didn't expect that this will happen so it was surprising for me but I enjoyed that so much because this actually proves the <clears throat> the claim that after you accept Islam you are a completely new person and that's actually what I feel that happened so yeah alhamdulillah I'm sorry, I'm like so excited and super happy and yeah, I have also different uh, reasons why I'm so happy but I will share, sh I will share them later, um, so wait for it. Um, okay, so I don't know what to say else because I can tell you some details, like for example, I uh, took my shahada at Al-Azhar. Uh, that's like an institute for uh, embracing Islam and uh, all the people there are so kind and the sheikhs, oh, they're so nice and they're trying to help you as much as possible and explain everything. And it's not that you come there and uh, they will ask you questions and like like a test. And if you don't know something, no, you are not going to take your shahada. No, 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 no. No, it's not like that. Even when there were some people that obviously, or I felt, that they are not converting from the right reasons, but who, who am I to judge? 
Uh, so even even to those people, the sheikhs were trying to explain what Islam is about and that they should take their shahadas from the right reasons. And it was so nice and so kind. And even and even after taking our shahadas, they came to us and they asked us like. Um, in, in private whether we have some questions about Islam and even before which was so nice because sometimes you don't have answers to certain questions but uh, at, like you but you need them but you cannot find them uh, so you could ask anything and they have the right education to actually answer you and uh, in the way where when you feel satisfied with the answer it's not like half of the information or 70% of the information, but 100%. So, um, those who are about to take their shahadas, please, please, don't make the same mistake as me. I was so nervous and I felt like they will ask me questions about Islam that I don't know. So, that's why I was so nervous, but no, it was definitely not like that. You are there to mainly listen, and uh, whether you have questions, of course, uh, you can ask. But nobody will judge you, nobody will ask you tricky questions, no, not at all. They are, there, they are there to help you and to make it easy. So, Alhamdulillah, it was so nice, so nice. <laughs> Um, I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry. I am just so, so, so happy. <sighs> finally, 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 finally. <laughs> okay, uh, so now I want to tell you about the first, first days of being a Muslim. So I'm struggling with my undercap all the time, but now let's move to more important things. Like... Um, okay, so, I don't know how you, but I'm that kind of person who needs to have everything, like, 100%, and once I don't have it 100%, I feel like, how come, how come I don't know anything, how is this possible, and uh, I'm, I'm sometimes too hard on myself, um, and I don't know why, actually because I'm trying to be understanding, but when it comes to me, no, you have to be perfect. So, um, not really good example, okay, so don't be like me. Uh, uh, but what I witnessed is that people around you who know that you just uh, accepted Islam, uh, they are so, so, so understanding, like, so far now I uh, still don't know many things and I still don't say the things, let's say, the right way, but all people are so kind to me, like, it's okay, just take your time, step by step, and they're trying to explain everything and help you with everything, and even when you know something, they go through everything with you and make sure that you understand it and you are not confused about anything, which is so, so, so nice, and especially at this time. Like when you really don't know and you are like looking for answers but you don't have them. So I really, really recommend you to try to connect with some Muslims in your city or uh, even, even on the internet because they will help you a lot. Um, like for me, I uh, decided to take my shahada in Egypt, in Al-Azhar and I'm so glad for that. But at the same time, you are not me, and maybe you will be much more satisfied if you just, if you would just take your shahada at home. Uh, so please, please think about this, and think about your feelings, and think about, and think about how do you want to feel, okay? Because it is about you, 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 only you, nobody else, okay? And take your time to think about this but of course not wait for many months because the sooner you become a Muslim the better you will feel 
trust me. I know what I'm saying. Like, in this case, trust me. <laughs> okay, um, I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. This video will be the worst, I think. But I hope, I hope that even though I'm somehow talking with my hands today and I'm laughing all the time but I hope that you got the message that I was trying to share with you today that taking your shahada should be very 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 nice moment and it's up to you what you consider as like nice environment or nice experience and based on this you should decide how you're gonna do that but Please, 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 don't be afraid, don't be stressed, don't feel nervous. I know what I'm talking about. And enjoy the moment, because this will happen only once in your lifetime, and you should be able to fully enjoy it. Okay, so this is everything for now, and uh, see you in the next video. Assalamu alaikum.